Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some Pal World. We just got our 10th Chillet. Got that complete bonus. And if my ears don't deceive me, I think we got a little something special. A shiny Tansy. All right, let's try and not kill it. Hopefully. I, I kind of have a history of killing these types of things, but we're going to try our best not to do that. 80? I'll take an 80. Sick. Alright. So you guys might be wondering, what is the plan for this video? The plan is everything. I plan to do everything this video. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. We're going to do a little bit of breeding. We're going to be doing a little bit of incubation and opening. We're going to be doing a couple of dungeons. I just feel like I want to play the game, you know. Sometimes I know exactly what I want for a video. I want to build a base. I want to catch this. I want to fight this. Today, I'm going to run around and just try to do what's the most fun. And there's a lot of things to have fun with. Especially, you know, we're smack dab in the middle of the mid-game. Got a lot of fun stuff to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, we're here. Um, this is the first boss area now we have defeated the first boss already so we don't need to do that again but there are a couple of pals over yonder that I need to catch also things like that spark it give me some electric organs which we also need some of those so um, we could also add that to the bucket list we're going resource hunting too dungeons incubation and resource hunting we're doing it all today um, but yeah this is gonna be some some prime gameplay today. These boars. They have lots of leather and bone. Now I know later I could buy those, but for now I just gotta collect them. Vixies. Did you, what did Vixies drop? Stone? Wait, what is that? What did you drop? Okay, you know what? You're coming home with me. Vixie. Third one. Okay, we need seven more of those. All right, we're back home. We're baking some cakes. All right, we're going to do some breeding here. If you guys don't know, breeding is absolutely disgusting and overpowered in this game. The What I use to breed, specifically, uh, what am I, brain fog, bro, Anubises, right? Look at all these Anubises that I've got rolling. The, what I use is the um, Azure, Azure the, the big water snake thing along with a van worm. If you do that, you breed them. You're going to get yourself an Anubis. And that's what I've been doing kind of off camera. Is I've been breeding up these Anubises. If you do it right. If you use the a male and a female of the Azora or whatever it's called. I already forgot the name. And the Van Worm. Not the Crist. The normal Van Worm. You will get a huge rocky egg. And from that egg you will get yourself an Anubis. And I have a few other eggs here to pop open. So let's go ahead and stick that one in there. But yeah. That was the other big thing that I've been working on recently is getting all these up and at least running. And once we open all of them, man, we'll have like 12 Anubises running around our base and it's going to be nasty. But yeah, so I've been cooking up some cake. I got the two homies. All right, here we go. It's time to open up all of these Anubises. Also, I completely forgot to turn my sound back on. So yay. That to 50 applies some changes. All right. Maybe a little louder. Also, I totally didn't apply it on accident. Okay, here we go. Huge egg number two. And if you notice, <laughs> I did something stupidly lucky. Also, I bred some more, so I got some more eggs. I did something so stupid and so lucky at the same time. And I just want to say how, how I've been blessed on accident. So you guys know, I you know, this is basically one of the first times I'm breeding on purpose. You know, like I'm, I'm hunting for something, right? Well, I just happened to stick two random ones. So a random van worm along with a random blue snake water thingy. Not thinking which one I put in there. I just knew if I stick these two things, it's going to make me an Anubis, right? On accident, I stuck in a van worm with Artisan. Which is by far the greatest passive skill to have on an Anubis. Because it's like, what, 50%? plus on work speed it is single-handedly the best thing you can put on an anubis and i did it on complete accident only once did i hatch my first one i saw artisan on there i'm like oh 
I accidentally stuck in a van ward with Artisan because I gave it absolutely no thought beforehand. So I'm just gonna, I'm just here on camera to tell you that I am stupidly lucky and the things that I do are not because I'm a genius, it is because I got stupidly lucky. Um, I'm not saying this in, in generally because I am, I think, a pretty smart guy. But this was not, this, I'm telling you, this was not planned. I didn't mean to give it Artisan, but by golly, I'm, I'm sure glad I did. Because these Anubises are going to absolutely be powerhouses in this base, bro. They're going to be running around like Naruto building all these things for me. I'm pretty excited. They just also happen to be really good miners. So we're going to stick a whole bunch of them at the mining base. Really, I just need a whole bunch of Anubises, and that's why we have so many. Because I need at least, like... You know, I think like six or seven for the mining base. Of course, not every single thing in the mining base is going to be Anubis. I'm going to stick some um, some homies with the fire breath in there, a couple of gatherers maybe. Um, but we need a few Anubises, and then of course we need a few Anubises also for this base. We just need Anubises everywhere. Speaking of the other base, this is kind of what we got rolling. So if you guys seen last episode, I still haven't edited it, so I'm not, not super... 100% sure on how I did it. Oh, this one's serious and artisan. Work speed 50. Work. Bro. That is such a nasty Anubis. Anyway, sorry. Off track. We're just going to put some Anubises in the base. But if you guys didn't see last episode, we basically re-renovated the entire mining base. You can kind of just take a look around while I'm playing around with some of these pals. We have now the optimal layout for the base you know we've got all the ore spawns and all the coal spawns we we uncovered them from the pile of structures that i built we got them all uncovered so now we've got everything spawning we've got the pals and our beds along with our workstations tucked in one corner where nothing else spawns um, we're gonna have these anubises not only carrying and mining, we'll have the Bushi with the fire, we'll have these Tomcats, because they're one of the only things that mine at night, so we're going to have some Tomcats rolling, we're going to have the Mammal Rest, and, well actually not the Mammal Rest, um, yeah, so we're going to have a, a good bunch of pals here specifically working on mining stuff, burning, gathering, and mining, that's what's really important here, I just got to make sure that we have... I want the guy. See, I really just these past episodes or a couple episodes have I really started looking at passives. I haven't ever really looked at passives up until now. Um, and now all of a sudden I realize how important they are. And again, that's why I'm so happy that I accidentally bred artisan ones because um, only now that I realize how important it is. And I just so happen to get lucky the very first time. Man, if I bred 20 Anubises and all of them sucked, <laughs> and I knew that I had a van room with Artisan sitting there and I didn't, dude, I would have been so mad at myself. So, I'm very happy I did. Yeah. And this mining base is gonna, it's gonna be gross, man. We're gonna be making lots of war, lots of money. I think this is gonna put us in a really good position. Alright, we've got our next batch of huge rocky eggs once again. We got them all artisaned up. I could try to make them all serious, but I would need to get another pal. Well, technically, I could breed two Anubises. One with Sirius, one with Artisan. I could do that. You know what? That's probably... I'm gonna, I gotta put that on my checklist. Of grab that one that's also serious and try to breed it to try to get some, like, an absolute, like, juicy Anubis. But for now, I just need these Artisan ones. We've got quite a few... I don't think I'll really need any more. That's why I think I'm just going to breed the ones that I have here. And then I'll try to, you know, breed a couple more that are even better. But for now, that's all that we need. Okay, we got a few more eggs. Man, these these guys are... Excuse my language. Dude, they're, they're banging fast, bro. There's like six... I don't know how y'all are reproducing so quickly. Hey, I'm glad y'all like each other. Because you guys are giving me some really fast eggs They're, i leave them alone for 20 minutes and they bang out six eggs for me you know what i'll take it but yeah we probably won't need too many more actually I, I probably already have one too many anubises but i feel like that's not like a bad problem to have like how, how could i cry about having too many anubises so let's let's just do a little bit of work on the base i've got most things built here i did not build these improved furnaces just yet let's just build them over here by the chest i feel like 
you know, when I'm grabbing the the metal bricks out of the furnaces, they're very, very heavy. I might as well keep them next to the chest when I grab them and my feet goes through the middle of the earth because I'm carrying 20 million tons on in my backpack. I'm just right next to the chest and I kind of just like waddle over and stick them in. That'd probably be a good idea. Alright, so we got these down. Let's go ahead and get some charcoal rolling, maybe. Yeah, let's get some charcoal rolling. Also need... We don't have too many ingots here, so we might have to hold off on that. Alright. So... And I guess also, I should mention, there are other ways of breeding Anubises. The Azerobe and the Van Worm are not the only way. Actually, I think there's even easier ways. I think I saw a TikTok. You can make it with a Pen King and something else. You'll have to Google that. I don't. I don't know if it's like a Pen King and a Grizzbolt or something, but I think there might be even easier ways to make it. But this is just that's the first way that I stumbled upon is the Azerobe and the Van Worm. Um, okay, Ultra Spheres. We definitely need some of these. We're gonna start catching some absolute juicers, so I definitely want to start making some Ultra Spheres. We got some ammo rolling, which is pretty cool. All right. What can we make? Can we make anything cool? Okay, so we're going to be unlocking some pretty cool guns in the very near future with just a few level ups. So I really should utilize the time that I have in between to enhance things, you know, level up, enhance my weight, but also come over here near the volcano and just slowly um, gather sulfur while I'm here. Again, right now my handgun goes bink, 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 bink. I don't need a whole bunch of ammo. But very, very soon, with things like the assault rifle, I'm gonna need a lot of gunpowder. Of course, we'll have to, we can buy some ammo too. But what's even more important is obviously the assault rifle is gonna take a lot. But very, very end of the game, when we unlock, oh no, oh, am I gonna die? Dude, no way. Do I just instantly die if I fall in that lava? I'm actually not even sure. I'm too scared to check. Alright, back to my thought. Very end of the game, when we unlock the rocket launcher, we cannot buy rocket launcher ammo. We can only make it, and it requires gunpowder, and gunpowder requires sulfur. So I really should try to get a little stockpile of sulfur going right now, so when we kind of get to that part of the game, which is going to be in a little while, I should have a stockpile of it to get ready to make those rockets. Because at that point, I'll probably be buying my cell rifle with ammo anyway. Um, but yeah. It's also just a good habit, you know, keep yourself stocked up on some of these materials. Things like crystal, sulfur, the ones that I'm not mining for at a base. Like, you know, we've got the coal in the ore base, but I don't, I'm not going to make an entire base just for coal or sulfur. So it's a good idea to come around when you're chilling, you know, we're chilling. Just come and grab some, do your due diligence. That way when I do want to craft, in that moment I don't need to run and do it. I can just craft it, you know what I'm saying? So, Cool. So a little bit of gathering. You love to see it. All right, so we grabbed all of that sulfur and this is what we made it for. Let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of gunpowder for ourselves. We can go ahead and make a whole bunch of nails for ourselves. We've got 3,000 ingots. Let's go ahead and make a whole bunch of nails. I got, got a little bit more charcoal running here. Okay, back on the lope, doing a little bit more exploring, Let's see what else we got. Just gonna run around and see if we can find some new pals, maybe some new dungeons. Okay, there's an unmarked teleporty thingy. Definitely gonna scoop that up. I don't know if, I think I've probably said this a few times already, but the game design to have teleporters all across the map was probably the greatest idea they've ever had. Sealed Realm of the Frozen Wings. All right, let's go see what's inside. Is this, is this what I think it is? Oh, it's just a Pen King. Never mind, never mind. I thought it'd be like some dragon, you know, Frozen Wings. Nah, just a Pen King, level 15. We can we can scoop it up real quick. But yeah, what I was saying, oh, and there's little pen bullets. The, the, the game design to have teleporters all across the map is probably one of the best things that they decided to do. Because I know in games like Ark, you have to walk 20 minutes to get somewhere. Not in this game. You can just 
teleport exactly where you need to be. And honestly, it saves a lot of time. But most importantly, it's a frustration saving game mechanic, which I can't say how much I appreciate. It's just, it makes the game so much more fun that I don't have to worry about walking 20 million feet. We're out here roaming in the nighttime, and I see a little dungeon thingy. You know what? Let's go ahead and do a dungeon together on camera. I've done a few of these kind of off camera just for giggles and fun. Why don't we do one together, huh? Me and you. Let's bond. Let's do a little dungeon together. A little grin tail? Don't have too many of those. Pull out the fire boy. Let's try to catch this thing, huh? Where's your head at? Let me shoot you in the head. Huh? Yeah, see his two hitboxes, bro. Okay, never mind. We just instantly killed it. Yeah, that was definitely see his two hitboxes right there. Or Overwatch's new hitboxes. No, that's the exact opposite. In, in Overwatch, you can aim 20 feet away and it hits. Oh. Oh, if this thing decides to blow up, I'm gone. I'm so glad the thing started self-destructing and then just for some reason decided to stop. I'm glad because I really should be dead right there. Burn him up. Alright. Catch us. Do I have one of these? I don't think so. Yo, look how cool that thing is. Oh, 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 chill, 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 chill. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Yo, this thing is so cool. It almost reminds me of uh, my sister's favorite Pokemon, which is Delphox. Except it's nothing like Delphox, but it's it's cool. I like it quite a bit. Actually, if I'm just going to be honest, I like Catrus much better than Delphox, personally. But, all right, Grintel, you trying to get caught here? Maybe I'll shoot. Dude, not again. All right, give me your high-quality Palio. More B guards. Yeah, as long as these things don't blow up on me, I should be pretty chill. Yeah, if they blow up, I think I might just do the classic Final Fantasy 99999 and just just lose my life instantly. Ooh, as long as it's not me. Cool. Alright, let's keep heading deeper. I think if we go... I think this is the way to the boss, right? I'm like 99% sure that this is the way to the boss. Maybe? I'm actually not sure. I think I might have to go that way to actually get to the boss. Okay, everybody. It looks like I found my way up to the front. And our dungeon boss is none other than Bristla. My favorite Roserade knockoff. No, 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 not Roserade. This thing looks like, um... And I forgot the name of it. Yeah, but it, it yeah, it looks like another one of those like. No, yeah, I can't think of the name. Either way, we're yoinking out. Let's hope we don't just like instantly kill it too. One thousand two hundred. Yeah, this thing's trying to run me down. No way. Boy, that should hurt. Yeah, you're getting shot in the head. Woo. Don't burn, please. No burn, no burn. Yeah. Don't escape. Okay, if it would have escaped right there, it would have got roasted and toasted right there. Alright, we cut ourselves a boss bristla. Alright, let's see if we can get anything cool out of these chests. Got metal and a high grade technical manual. Alright. Alone. Don't even know what those do, but I'm sure the second we hit level 50, we'll figure it out at that point. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alright, back on the lope. Let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find. Is that another dungeon? Devout Mine Shaft. What's in here? Oh, it's probably an Eliza. Yeah, Eliza B. I was going to say, there's not a B guard in here. That's not big enough. There's an Eliza B. We can go ahead and grab that. Love me an Eliza B. Just a bigger bomb. The B guards are small bombs, just a bigger bomb. Yeah. 
you want to come on with me? Man, I actually really like Eliza B. I think it's a really cool design. I also do love Vespa Queen and Pokemon. They're both pretty cool. I do like them both quite a bit. Yeah, something about B Pokemon. Actually, I really, really love B Pokemon. Uh, B Drill is another one of my favorite bug Pokemon, and once again, it's, it's a B. Something about bees. I love bees. In real life, I hate bees. I've gotten stung exactly once in my life, and it was the worst experience. Just oh, 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 that feeling of like the bee landing on your hand or finger or arm, and it just does like the little wriggle, and then you just like feel it. It's like oh man, I'm getting like tingles just thinking about it. But yeah, I hate bees in real life, but B pals. That's the type of pal for me. All right, forty percent. 70? Yoink. Yeah. Alright. Very cool. Okay, everybody. So I entered another dungeon here. I decided to just go through the whole thing. What do we got? Gelclaw? I think that is a Gelclaw boss. Alright, 28. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. We're already in our 30s. This should be pretty easy peasy. My question is, I don't know why they're not coming down. Hello? There you go. Finally decided to come play. Hey, you're getting burnt white. Which one of you is the real Gelclaw? I can't tell which one's a normal thing and which one's the boss. It's not that big, not that much bigger comparatively, which is kind of funny. Throw dirt at me. Okay, yeah, this thing is the boss. Yeah, it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't look that big, but... Looks pretty cool, though. Can't deny that. Bink. Yeah, if you could attack somebody else that's not me, that would be pretty neat. Oh. Oh, I'm hoping we don't lose it because it falls down there. It doesn't die, right? It did take some damage, funny enough. Can I still catch it down here? Oh, oh no, 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 it's gonna die! Stop! Oh, okay, I'm actual Michael Jordan. Hey, stop attacking, bro. Nice! Yeah, honestly, that got real dicey there for a minute. I thought I might have lost it when it kind of just started floating in that ravine over there. Alright, let's see what type of things we got in these chests. Dragon fruit and more high-grade technical manuals. Alright. Neat. Let's get out of here.
Oh. Yep. 